this disease requires your attention. It requires that you be attentive to the person at all times. Yeah, it's a cruel disease. It's a disease that takes over and I hope that this gets out to people. It is a thief. It's a robber. It's, it's a, a slow moving thief who manages to get away from you every time and then something new has happened and you are progressing with it and you're wondering what stage you're in and some days are good and some days are not so good. There's a voice that I hear. I've known her for since the first Tuesday in September of after Labor Day of 1949 when she was in my class in high school. There's a place. Childhood sweetheart, and her and I went to college together, and we raised our family together. But I don't know how. All right. There was a deniability factor, but I could see the light going out in her eyes. In 1963, a Baltimore Colt rookie named John Mackey. John Mackey, Hall of Famer, class of 92 of the NFL, thank you, from the Baltimore Colts, who I still call the real Colts. With number 88, the position skipped I never many even things. thought about Alzheimer's or dementia until it hit home with us. If it had not hit home with us, I don't know how aware of it I would be at this point in time in my life. Man, that's Super Bowl five. Right. We're gonna beat the Dallas Cowboys. Did you score a touchdown in that game? I went 75 yards. You did? Yeah. This is a physical disease, and that's what makes me angry. Get ready to go out, you gonna look good. Wait a minute. Where are we going to? Okay, we're going to a restaurant. You can't reason with the person, you can't argue with the person with Alzheimer's or dementia. You just have to let it go. As long as they're not hurting anybody or anything, let it go. When you go through this, remember that the things that they're saying is not really them. It's the disease. It kills and it, it destroys a lot of stuff and it makes people be a different person. As a community, I think we're not coping with it. Um, I think that we try to put it under the rug, you know, because we'll, that's what I did.